obviously she knows how. What are you doing in there? All right, let's go upstairs, outside. Let's go outside. Come on, Akira, outside. Come on. Blair. Ronnie always eats the puppy's food. Don't know why. There is plenty more food out here. <laughs> Such a stinker. I don't know why she... she doesn't want them to nurse, but she always goes in there. She just eats their food because it's easier. But there's Ronnie. plenty of food out Ronnie. here. Ronnie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Open the door, Jordan. Open the door. Open the door. Come on, outside. Today we are burning. So all the poop and litter that we accumulate from from puppies and dogs, we take over to this burn pile because we don't have a separate septic system for the dogs. And we try to burn it. It's only smoldering today, so that's not great. So this one right here is Radar, and then over there, the one that looks just like him is Hawkeye, 
He's his brother from the same litter. He has a home, we just dog sit him every day while his owner goes to work. Since they live close enough, we figured we might as well. Clark, are you cold? Clarky! Little baby Clark was cold. And he gets to sit in my jacket. There you go. <laughs> That's how you warm up a baby puppy. Denali, what do you think? Hey girl. Hi Izzy. Hi Izzy. Are you playful today? This is Surrey. This is our mini golden doodle. We've had Surrey for about six months and um, we got Surrey from Joliere. Emma, tell us about the day we got Surrey. So um, it was my last day of school at, in fifth grade and I came home from this like carnival festival thing and my dad asked me to come outside and, to get a package off the front, front porch and um, there I found Surrey in this little box and I was so happy when I found out that I got to get a dog and that I got to have a dog in my life. So life before dogs for us was my husband and I saying, no, we will never ever get a dog. 
but Emma finally wore us down and we, we got to the point where we felt like, you know what, this might be the best thing for her, even though it was gonna be a huge sacrifice on our end. Um, we were kind of just feeling like it was the right time if we were ever gonna do it. Our experience with Jolie Air was amazing. Emma doesn't know much of the um, backstory, but working with Rebecca, I asked her so many crazy questions because I literally had no idea. I had dogs growing up, but I had never had my own since um, being married. And um, anyway, so I had no idea what to expect and what to do, how to take care of what I needed, anything. So she, uh, Rebecca helped us so much and put us, um, put our minds at rest as um, that we were, we were going to be okay. We, we were going to be prepared. Also, Julie Air was amazing. They do as much as they can with the puppies to get them the best start as possible. And they trained, began training him. He was so easy to potty train. He had very, very few accidents. If like in the first couple of weeks, it was probably not even one handful of accidents. Um, he just was so smart and <laughs> he likes to eat leaves. Um, and even we bell trained him. So he went and rang the bell right away. He learned that right away when he had to go out and go potty. And he just overall is the best temperament and just such a great dog. We had a little trouble um, crate training him because he missed us so much, but um, he ended up doing fine with that too when we tweaked a few things and he is just the easiest dog to have around. I would absolutely recommend Jolie Air. We had an amazing experience with Jolie Air and working with Rebecca there. Um, I just felt like they set us up for success with our puppy. I had interviewed several breeders beforehand. I was prepared to go drive far to get, we were looking at Kansas City. I even looked in, I think Pennsylvania. I live in Illinois. I just wanted to make sure we got the right puppy because I didn't want it to be a bad experience because um, I knew that we probably wouldn't have lasted as puppy parents <laughs> if it wasn't, um, if we weren't as prepared. Um, so I felt like Rebecca just goes above and beyond. We received the most amazing care package when we picked up Surrey. Um, she had plenty of uh, feedback for us and help and the way they train their puppies beforehand, I've, I didn't talk to any breeders that had done that. And so we were super, super, we felt like we hit the jackpot really with um, puppies because Surrey was so, um, just so far along in the journey of training and it just was an amazing experience. Okay, we're just gonna show you a few tricks that Suri knows how to do. One thing I noticed is it already come and just sit to us when he, sit at our feet when he needs something. That's what Jolie Air taught him. It's called manding. Um, Suri, can you shake? Good boy. Good boy, can you give high five? Good job, sit. Good boy. Suri, can you lay down? Sir, lay down. Good boy, can you roll over? Good job. Good job. All right, sir, can you sit and wave? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Can you sit and wave? Good boy, can you wave big? Can you wave big? Good <laughs> job. Good boy. You catch? Good boy. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Sit, sit. Can you catch? Good job, sorry. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Sit, can you catch? Good boy, three for three, that was good, okay. This is where Sorry sleeps, and when we leave the house, this is where he goes. Sorry, kennel, kennel. Good boy, there you go. Good job. So he goes in there most nights. Sometimes we let him sleep in our bed, but most nights he goes in there and he loves it. He's got that little light blue blanket is the one that he got from Jolie Air, so he still has that in there. And this other blanket is one he's kind of stolen from the family and we've let him have. So that's where he goes. And then he's um, out with us all the time. We never use a kennel as a punishment. He's just with us um, in the house. He only sleeps in here when we have to leave or at night. Yeah.